Hi, welcome to the Frugal Frau. I'm Suki, your host. And today we're going to have a short video on how to resaw a thicker board such as this into a thinner board such as this. But before we get started, please like, subscribe, and comment because it helps the channel out. Now, the tool that we use, the primary tool that is, is the Rubo saw. That's spelled R-O-U-B-O. And uh, we made this saw, or Tom made this saw, I should say. And if you're interested in learning how to make a homemade frame saw such as this, whether it's a Rubo or other, please say so in the comments. And if we get enough positive feedback on that, we will consider making a video on how to make this particular saw. And then if you are interested in the other frame saws, how to make those too. What we used to uh, start this, we had to clean up our edges first. And so we used a plane for that and a marking gauge to mark the depth of the cut to make and a knife. So let's get started. First thing to do is to scribe all four edges of the board to the depth you want to cut or split this board laterally. And that process, of course, is called resawing a board. Next, deepen that scribe mark with a knife, making a slight groove, and that allows the saw blade to easily follow the scribe marks. You can deepen all of these scribe marks now, or just do the two leading edges for the first initial cutting. Board, so the top leading edge and the long side leading edge are going to be able to be sawn at this point. He picks up his rubo saw and begins the resawing process. Tom uses the tried and true blow the sawdust arf so he can better visualize his scribed marks to make sure the saw blade is following those marks. Now Tom is flipping the board so that he can start sawing from the other side and you're going to see that he is now going to enhance those scribe lines, which he didn't do earlier, but he could have done them earlier. Just your preference on the order of operations there, whether you want to cut them all at once in the beginning or cut them as you're going to do them. Now that the remaining edges are scribed, he picks up his rubo saw again and starts sawing from the other side. He never tries to saw the entire length of the board all the way through from one direction. He likes to have it meet in the middle, as this typically produces a better result. Change the angle of the board to be resawn as necessary to better control your sawing. Don't try to do it all at one angle. It probably won't work. And with the board flipped again, Tom picks up his knife and he's making a deep notch to get the saw blade started on this side or from this side, I should say.
And then the dog decides to photobomb. And he thinks he got away with something because he stole a wood shaving or a little block of wood to chew on. Tom is deepening the scribe mark he made earlier on this last edge, as he hadn't done that yet. And this is so he can begin sawing from this edge in order to meet the place where he stopped sawing from the other edge. And you can see once again he has flipped the board around again so that he can cut into the other long side from this second short edge. board is almost completely resawn through and a couple of more strokes should enable the saw blade to cut all the way through and it did. And if you want a really smooth board and really nice prepared surface you're going to have to plane the board after resawing and Tom is just doing that here with his jack plane. And he's smoothing out a couple little rough spots from the saw to get the saw blade marks out. <laughs> 